God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, November 4th. Today's devotional is based on the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verses 2 to 16. Some Pharisees came, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her, and if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them, and the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms and laid his hands on them and blessed them. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by C. Clifton Black. What may sound to our ears as relentlessly harsh assumes a different tenor when we understand that Jesus' intent is the protection and honor of the spouse as a child created in God's image, not as chattel to be discarded on selfish whim. The latter would be utterly incongruent with discipleship that cares for the vulnerable. And we're left with this question to ponder through the weekend. Have you ever suffered at the hands of an unyielding opinion? How did you deal with that? Let us pray. You are a God of justice and compassion. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whatever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That as you go throughout your days, that your words and actions speak only to a heart filled with love. God bless.